Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. We're going to get into uh, Triple G, who vacated his WBA belt, uh, who avoids Eric Sande Lauda. Um, we're going to get into that because that's a fun little topic. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day. Uh, keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, please subscribe to the other channels as well, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. So for the second time in, I don't know, a little over a month, Eric, uh, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, vacates his belt. First it was the IBF, now it's the WBA. Um, I don't know, are we still con- considering Triple G an active Fighter, does he just want to fight Canelo? Uh, does he just want payday? Does he just want payday? You know, he's gotten uh, Canelo times three. So he's gotten a ton of money. Um, he's vacated both his belts. His fight with Laura was supposed to go to purse bids. Um, instead, he's just given up the belt. Uh, you know, he was the super champ. And Lauder was the regular champ, so I guess now I I, I suppose they're gonna elevate uh, Lauder to super champ because Canelo uh, because Canelo could Triple G ducked him. Um, but I want to get into a couple options here. First, Triple G. Um, Triple G did fight twice last year. He he beat Murata in April. And then he beat Saul Alvarez. He beat Canelo in September. Um, before that, he did not fight in 2021. He just fought once in – he didn't fight at all in 2021. He fought once in 2020. Um, and that was after he, – so he fought I- I- Derevchenko October of 2019. Then he didn't fight again for 14 months. And he fought Shamarja, which, you know, okay. I, I, I guess we'll count that. Um, and then he took 16 months off and fought Murata, and then he fought uh, Canelo. And he hasn't fought since. And uh, it's only been about six months since the Canelo fight, but he has not fought since the Canelo fight. Um, and he doesn't look to be fighting anytime soon. He is 40, wants to retire, retire, but but is he, you know, he's given up two belts now. Is he done? Um, and, and I'm hearing, you know, what does he have to gain by beating a lot of a career best win. He doesn't have a win on his resume of anyone nearly as good as Ariston de Lotta. His best win is a bogus decision over Danny Jacobs. That's his best win. His Triple G's best win of his career is a bogus decision over Danny Jacobs. I'm not a Triple G hater. That's his best win, right? You, you go through the rest of his resume. What's his next best win? Derevchenko, bogus win. Vanis Motorosian, off of, you know, a massive layoff. David Lemieux, Martin Murray. What, what's his best win? None of the – Matthew Macklin, Gabe Rosado. These are the names on his resume. It's not like it's not it, it, look, it, it's a good resume, okay? It, it's not a great Hall of Fame resume. It's not. His best win is Danny Jacobs and Gabe Rosado, Matthew Macklin, David Lemieux, Martin Murray. I mean, look, these are good names. He's got a decent resume, but none of these names are even approaching Ariston de Lotta. He and, and I've been one that said he's been ducking Lotta forever. Yeah, you know, he's been ducking Laura for 10 years or more. Uh, probably about 10 years he's been ducking him. He's not going to fight him. But he's not. Right? And he's not going to fight anyone good except Canelo. If he can get a fourth fight with Canelo. I, 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 I don't know. 
Um, but what does he have to gain by fighting Lotta? A career best win. He does not have anything on his resume nearly as good as Lotta. And for Laura, boy, this sucks. Now, Laura's going to – I think they're going to elevate him. If you look at the WBA rankings, the number one ranked uh, middleweight is Michael Zarafa from Australia. Could they mandate that fight? I don't know. Maybe. And then the winner gets elevated to Super Champ. You go down the ratings. You know who number two is? Sergio Martinez. That's right. 50-year-old or whatever he is. Sergio Martinez. The once great uh, middleweight Sergio Martinez. He's number two by the WWE. I mean, how bogus are, are, are these? Number three is Austin Amaro Williams. Um, Sergio Martinez is two. Austin Amaro Williams is three. What would happen if Austin Amaro Williams fought Sergio Martinez? Austin Amaro Williams would kill him, and we all know that. So why would they do that? Well, I mean, do they want to – I mean, are they going to have Sergio Mora fight Z Zarafa and then mandate that guy fight Laura, and, and which is typically you know, something they could do? And what do you do with Lada in the interim? If he doesn't fight Zarafa – the kind of logical choice here is kind of Danny Garcia. Is that a fight y'all want to see? Y'all want to see Danny Garcia and Laura? Look, it's a decent fight. I, I'd pick Laura to win. Um, you know, Garcia is at 154 now. So that's his new weight. Go right into a Laura fight. I'm, I'm not opposed to it. I don't think it's ridiculous. You know, I, but I, I really wanted to see Laura and Triple G. I've wanted to see Laura and Triple G for 10 years because I, I always thought Laura could beat him. I thought it was a fun fight stylistically. I thought, you know, let's see Glufkin style and and and, and, Lou, and Laura's Cuban style and let's see how it mixes up. I, I've always thought Laura could beat him, even when Laura was at 54 and, and Glufkin was at 60. I always thought if Laura went up, he could beat him. Um, but here's, I mean, it's what we have. Um, so Laura is going to miss out on a legacy fight again. I mean, there are very few guys in this sport who, is, who are avoided. Even Rigo eventually got legacy fights. They're just not going to fight Laura. You know, I, I talked to Austin Trout, and I asked him, Trout's fought everyone, both Charlo brothers, Canelo, Cotto. I said, who's the best fighter you ever fought? Without hesitation, he goes, Lana. Lana is the best fighter I've ever fought. Yo, know, Laura is something special. He's gotten some bad decisions. You know, if Laura gets a win over Canelo and Paul Williams, which he deserved, both of those are some of the worst decisions I ever saw, especially the Paul Williams decision. His career is viewed so differently. Just giving him this, the, the decisions he deserved, his career is viewed drastically differently. You know, if Laura's got wins over Canelo and Paul Williams, he's a transcendental fighter. Like he, he's an all-time great fighter. And he won those fights fair and square. He just got robbed. And now he's not going to get this fight. I mean, they just don't want to fight Laura. That's all there is to it. No, they, they just don't want to fight him. Um, and that's a shame for Arisanda Laura because he is some type of talent. You know, I, I always thought he was one of the best fighters of the year. He just never got a chance. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, do, do, would you be interested in, in Triple G and Laura? Uh, what do you think, Laura? What do you think uh, Canelo goes from here? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Like I said, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Also, subscribe to the other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 10th, 2023 from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.